Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about um, self-acceptance, right? Uh, to accept oneself. Well, first of all, I will start with the, um, the obvious. And the obvious is that you are not broken. Nobody is, right? You're like, everybody, like, like you're, nobody is, is, is broken. <clears throat> Some might look like they are uh, by the behavior, but they're not. No, it's just our, our thinking, our, our opinion. But deep down, deep down uh we're not we're not broken we never we never are because we're not our personality we are not uh our body that's not who we are no uh from little we we've been trained to think that we are our, our personality or that we are our, our body but what we are really is our essence and that essence is beautiful and it's whole, it's complete, as it is. So to accept yourself, that means do you, you have to believe into something that you're not. You have to believe what people tell you. Uh, or what you think about yourself, because we're a <laughs> thinking machine, we tell ourselves all kinds of things. Um, so that means you, be you believe yourself limiting beliefs. And maybe other try to, to convince you that there is, uh, that you're not enough, or that you're too much. Um, and because that, especially when you're very young, that's where most of our beliefs are, uh, are created and because you you were very young you believed what other people told you about you and um, and then you feel that you have to improve yourself to be to be able to love yourself or to be accepted by uh, other people so that's why there's you now you go in a bookstore is all those shelves of self-help books um all in, in to find a way to improve yourself you now the next steps 10 steps to a, a better self or the next 10 step for a higher self-esteem and uh, all those kind of things or people will try to have maybe have more money uh, they will look after try to get fame, uh, a new one is uh, to get to enlightenment now, because they're not enough as they are, so they have to reach enlightenment to be uh, acceptable, like it's going to change something. And there's this uh, Buddhist or Zen saying that uh, before enlightenment, chop wood, carry water, and after enlightenment, chop wood, carry water because you still have to live um so uh some people they try to also to build a new improve me uh and they will try to do compare your, themselves to somebody else right? and that gets exhausting right in the end all this work is exhausting and the thing is you're perfect. You're perfect in your imperfections. You're totally perfect in your in your imperfection because there's only one of you. There will be nobody else like you. With the same circumstances, the same parents, the the the, uh, the time that we live in. No, you're you uniquely you. And there's nothing to improve. There's no need to, to apologize for who you really are. And I think it's Leonard Cohen who said that there's a, a crack in everything. That's all the, the light comes in. Because we're made to be imperfect <laughs> in a sense. Um, I think there's a, a Japanese uh, thing 
don't remember the name that uh, when a, a vase is cracked and you put gold in it to to repair it i think and apparently makes it more beautiful so same thing with, with us so we don't have to pretend that uh, you're somebody else uh, or you don't have to be what somebody else wants you to be um you can just fall in love with who you really are just as you are just as you are because the the creator the universe god mind whatever you want to call it right created all this word not this world not the the planet earth uh with mountains and valleys and rivers and oceans and then he put it full of life no birds and fish and all everything that crawls around the the earth so he made it all all of this and then when it was time to uh to create you he didn't say oh shit i made a mistake no you are like the all the other creations you are everything that you need to be to do everything that you came into this life to do because you're you legally you right so you are everything that you need to be to do everything that you came into this life to do or to be no the creator says oh shit i made a mistake with this one no you like everything else no matter what people say not uh, no matter what people do by like i said by words or by deeds to make you feel less than you are complete and whole just as you are there's nothing wrong with you you only think there's something wrong with you it's like i said it's only thinking so you don't have to work in in that self acceptance oh i have to accept myself i have to love my myself but you're like i said you're perfect you're not actually you're not who you think you are like i said you're not your personalities you can even ask yourself who is aware who's aware of that thinking who's aware when i'm reading something who's aware the essence of who you are that's what you are and that is perfect and whole all the time because no matter what like i said nobody no matter what other people's opinion because you have a right no that's that's the free will that we have and that's the right we have at birth uh to be to do to have to become what we desire like i said somebody might have said something at one point or oh, you're too much or not enough but that's their own opinion and remember everybody sees life to our own little lenses right we filter life through our little goggles and those goggles are dirty or they have cracks in them or, or whatever so we filter life so they also filtering life to their own little goggles and their opinions belongs to themselves it has nothing to do with you so that self-acceptance well you just you're not like i said you're not who you think you are you're you're more powerful that light inside of you that essence is inside of you is all and complete as it is so no need for the self-improvement to be accepted by anybody else no need to compare yourself oh i should be like more like this person or that person and then i can love myself no they have their own path you have your own path and just be uniquely you that's all there is to it 
but that's only my humble opinion. Uh, uh, feel free to uh, send me comments or uh, questions or something that you uh, would like uh, me to answer. Or oh, if you want to work with me, uh, you also can send me a little uh, email at uh, info at martinbrisson.com. And on that, I will uh, well see you next week. Ciao.